suffer from this illness? Oh, yes, sir. And how they suffer. One man I know suffers so much, they have to take a medication called bourbon. He it's actually really interesting. So after Robin Williams passed, um, it took me a long time to watch anything with him in it because he was such a huge influence in my life and obviously with everyone else's lives. Um, but one of the things that I did watch after his passing was Mork and Mindy. They did reruns on Channel 11. Um, and it was fine. But when you watch Mork and Mindy after his passing, it almost feels like he's doing a call out for help. And it is absolutely heartbreaking to watch those episodes. Specifically when you watch the episodes where it's Robin Williams versus Mork. And you just sit there going, this, this guy needs help. This guy is suffering in silence. And because we all see him as the clown, as the comedian, as the man who brings laughter to us, we, we don't give him a second thought. And he's pouring his heart and soul into this dialogue. Whether it's dialogue that was script written or whether he improvised it, he's still bringing enough to it that you're like, oh my god, this, this is really cruel. He was telling the world that he's suffering. And we saw it as a joke. I know there's a film of his I have that was released after his passing. Let me find it. So the movie's called Boulevard. And this was the first movie that... Boulevard was the first movie that I watched after his passing. Um, and it is one of the hardest movies to watch after his passing. If he was still alive, we would have again seen it as nothing, as, as a man who's going through a roller coaster of emotions. But it's a man who's broken. It's a man who, you know, feels like he's got nothing left. A man whose life, his marriage is all just in shambles. And you watch it and you sit there and you can see that he's trying to hold the smiles. You sit there trying to see all this stuff. And it gives you perspective in going, this is what he probably went through. And because of the way that we saw him, we didn't think twice about it. And I think that's just really heartbreaking is that when you watch Mork have the dialogue with Orson, you sit there going, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you watch it now and you're like, he's either bringing personal experience to it or he's making it believable enough that we didn't see the signs. And it's really heartbreaking because he was such an incredible actor. Are you in a relationship? And we didn't give him the respect with asking if he was okay. And you're